Leo, what is going on with you for the week? Leo, for the week. This is the archetype deck from the Wild Unknown, Kim Krantz. All right, I think we're about ready for Leo, 25th through 29th. The warrior. What are you fighting for? The warrior comes out when we're in that archetype where we we are having to stand up for something, like an advocate. We're fighting for something. If we don't have a cause, um, when we get the warrior card, then it means we're going to be kind of lost feeling because every warrior has a cause that they fight for. Um, let me look at the, the book really quick. So this can also mean the soldier, the samurai, and then, like I said, the advocate. Um, the warrior acts with fierce clarity, purposeful action, resolve, and they're resilient. So, yeah, it's it says that uh, meaningless confrontations and violet, violence, <laughs> not violet, violence is what occurs if um, the warrior has lost their focus has lost their um, sense of purpose, what they're fighting for. And it just kind of reminds you that your actions stick with you long after um, you've, you know, made a move. So choose wisely. When you go to battle, choose wisely. Make sure it's something that you want to represent you long term, what you're doing. All right. Let's see, let's get, we're gonna get some oracles and then we're gonna kind of shuffle the tarot and just see where they land, see what comes out. It's kind of a mystery. It's always something kind of interesting. So we'll just do a bunch of oracle cards first. For Leo, 25th through the 29th, January. Getting close to February. All right. Okay, Leo. Oh, wow. We have Treasure Island and Buy the Book. So, it would appear that you're going to come into some kind of manifestation where you actually manifest your um, abundance, your money, right? But um, also... There's um there's some kind of hint that says you've been doing things right. You've been doing things by the book. You may have been, e even if it's thinking outside of the box, you're doing things in the correct steps, in the right order for results. And I feel like that is speaking about your results. And especially if you're talking about the advocate because you want to prove your point or to make your point, so doing things by the book will ensure your point can get across without anybody, you know, getting in trouble for it. So Treasure Island, that can mean money to you. Whatever it does mean, it means abundance. So some people would think of abundance as defining it as something different than money. So just take what you define abundance as and know that that's what you're manifesting. All right. And we'll get some of these. These are the spell casting, spell casting cards. Treasure Island and by the book. Such a pretty card too, Treasure Island. And I think, you know, with your abundance with the Treasure Island, um, there's some abundance that's in the unconscious realms right here in the water. So some things that you just don't know about quite yet. Maybe you'd be surprised. So this is for Leo, for Leo, getting results, Leo, getting results. All right, <clears throat> I have freedom at the bottom of the deck, so there may be something that we're um, questioning about our freedom, feeling constricted. All right, so now the grieving card has come up a lot for lots of people, and you know, Almost every sign, I think, has had the grieving. In some way, shape, or form, there's always something that we can think of in our lives that we are grieving at the moment. Even things that have to do uh, with, well, especially things that have to do with your career that might have changed 
um, that would send you into a sense of mourning too. Change is not always comfortable, even when we can't see it, but we're going to have really excellent results. Um, even then, the change would be difficult. Talent. So let me look in the book and tell you what they say because they give different meanings for these. So talent to the spell casting deck means share your talent with others, practice makes perfect, shine your light, sign up with a talent agency, or goes go for what makes your heart sing. Truly might have some singers too in there with that um, little hint being thrown in. But yeah, um, when you serve the greater good, and that would be what you're doing if you were to spread your talent and share it with others, that's always going to multiply, um, you know, your return, your exchange of energy. It's it, There's a law that governs that exchanging, the giving and receiving. We're both, but there are things that kind of govern that in the universe. So you share your talent, you will have what's next to it, which is good luck. Good luck. So this little card with the pretty cat and the really pretty, um, oh, look, you see, the ladybug means good luck too. I, so I love it whenever I see it. I didn't know dragonfly meant good luck. Hmm. I know ladybug does because I get really excited whenever I see a ladybug. All right. So these are the magical meaning for good luck. There's a change for the better. Lucky energy surrounds you right now. Grab opportunities with both hands. And a black cat signifies a lucrative win. I like the word lucrative. Lucrative win. All right. So now, now let's see. Um, Let's just do this. Let's let's just start drawing um, tarot cards for these and see see what comes up for us. All right. And we definitely are planting the seeds, whatever it is that we're creating, because I, I saw that on the split. I saw that on the split. Looking at your harvest. Contemplating. Contemplating because I think, and we've got strong pinnacle energy keeps coming up. For you today, for the week. So let's get some cards for Leo for the 25th through 29th. See where they land. Oh. Whoa. Okay. This kind of like went right here. <laughs> so we have justice. All right. Making things even, making things fair. Maybe what you're fighting for, Leo, maybe whatever it is that you're fighting for is, you know, we, gosh, we have good luck too at the justice, big time uh, indication that if you're involved in anything legal, it's going to go in your favor, big time. And then also justice for what you're fighting for, the warrior, the warrior card. Yeah, you're getting some kind of justice either for you or for a group that you're standing up for. So, justice is, um, you know, about making things kind of balanced for you. Making things balanced in the meantime. Excuse me. So, things will balance out. Whatever is not fair will become fair. All right. All right, let's keep going for Leo. All right, on Treasure Island, we have Page of Wands. Really good news. Um, that's, in fact, that's what I would describe Page of Wands as, is good news. Um, whenever you have something, a brand new inspirational start at something, um, Page of Wands would indicate that it is something for the better for you. And this is either a, um, if it's a person, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius kid, or it is, like I said, good news, that uh, beginning inspirational start. It's whatever you did begin, whatever you were inspired to start will bring these rewards like from the Treasure Island card. So that's really great. We're just waiting. We're waiting right now. 
All right. Let's get some more cards for Leo for 25th, 29th. All right. All right. That's what I got. I'm not sure if that goes up here or not, but I know this right here. This has been changed. Something something about the way that you're handling this the way that you're starting this, whatever this beginning, this inspirational new beginning is for you, you're doing it different than you normally, maybe normally would. Maybe it's a little bit more by the book. And I hope that makes sense to you. Um, Knight of Swords, we could be talking about a young adult, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Then we have change, maybe from the devil standpoint. And you know what's funny is I could look at this as change um, that you might be grieving. Truly, sometimes things that you are um, attached to, maybe negative attachments. We get used to things like certain behavior patterns. In fact, to the point where we can't really spot them ourselves sometimes. Somebody else has to point them out for you. Um, the negative attachments, we get addicted to the attachment itself. So there's a change. There's a change in that. Or there is a change or grieving for a Capricorn. Um, sign of Capricorn. We have a wish granted, the wish granted card. And maybe this wish came from a state of grieving. And look at that. It's touching the talent too. So you have talent in something that you may have wished for. And also we have luck on your side. And it even touches Treasure Island. So talent, grieving, Treasure Island. It's just beautiful. And then Knight of Cups. So if we look at this in a succession, then yeah, this is all really good. This is a, a new offer um, that's going to be emotionally fulfilling for you. This could be talking about young adult, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, but this new beginning, this start to something inspirational that has to do with your abundance, that has to do with a talent that you're going to share, wish is granted, Maybe dealing with some temptation or, like I said, Capricorn, dealing with loss because of the change. Dealing with loss because of the change. And that could be Libra. I don't know if I said that. So Libra, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and then um, Capricorn. So guys, I'm going to leave it at that because I think that's explained quite a bit for your week. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Expect change. Expect dealing with change. That being maybe an issue, but it's good change. Whatever's coming to you is good change. Bringing your treasure island. So, right. and get the tea leaves to come out. And these are a lot, so they might not deal with everybody. So, Leo, you just take what resonates with you and just leave the rest for somebody else to get if it doesn't resonate. And remember, these energies can be exchanged, too. Um, the roles can be reversed. So, it might be talking, you know, if, if I draw a card like this one, uh, a period of ill health or depression, this can be you or somebody that's very close to you whose energy touches yours, like on a daily basis. Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. I think that's the treasure. Treasure Island. All right, crown. Honor and respect will come to you. And that might have to do with this justice and the achievements here. Bull, we might be dealing with a Taurus too. Um, do not back down from the opposition. Show strength and fortitude to get your justice. And I actually think that bull goes right here with the warrior with the advocate fair man dealings or relationship with a man with blonde gray or white hair blonde gray or white hair hmm i really don't know where to put that one actually i'm not getting anything on where to put it so i'm going to put it up here with the inspiration sunrise and the sun is you know that's definitely related to leo this is new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start about your talent and about this luck coming your way. And then woman, dealings or relationship with a woman, 50-50% chance that that one's right. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Have a nice week. Sending light and love to you. Bye.